Hello, Laura Worthington here showing you how to create a simple wedding invitation in Microsoft Word using the Adorn Pomander Smooth collection. I'm in Microsoft Word 2011. So first you make a new document, then go to Format and select Document, and I'm going to set the margins to be smaller, half an inch. The first step is to draw in a text box, which will be used in our frame. I usually draw in the text box at any size because there's an easier, more accurate way to adjust the size of it rather than eyeballing it. Hover over the text box till you get this four-way arrow, then double click on it and you'll see it pulls up the options to make adjustments here. I'm going to make this 10 inches tall and 7.5 and inches wide, then I'm going to click on this align button and select align to middle and align to center so the text box is exactly in the middle of the page. Now there's just one more thing we need to do to get this text box set up right and this is very important. We need to adjust the text wrapping options to set this to behind text. If we don't do this, the text we overlay on top of this frame won't show up. Okay, so on to the next step, and this is getting the frame set up. Word doesn't have a glyphs panel. Actually, most software programs don't. So we're going to have to do this step using Fontbook, which is a utility that comes standard on the Mac. If you're running Windows, you can use Character Map for this process. And there's other options too. So take a look at the How Do I section on my website where I have detailed information and videos on this part of the process. In Fontbook, select Adorn Frames from the menu, go to Preview, and select Repertoire. Then we're going to click on the upper left corner frame we want, copy it, then paste it into the text box. Then we'll repeat the process with the top right frame, hit return, and copy paste in the bottom left and bottom right corners. So there's something we need to fix here. You'll notice that there's a gap between these two lines, so we need to adjust the line spacing to fix that. So I'm just going to highlight the top two corners, go to Format, then Paragraph, then set the after spacing to zero. Perfect. Now that we've got the corners in place, we're going to add in the top, bottom, and side pieces to make this frame fit within the text box. So go back to Fontbook. Here's a plain top piece. I'm going to paste this in here, make the 72 point, which is what I have the corner size set at. Copy and paste more of these top pieces in here. Now for the bottom pieces. Copy and paste those in there. Okay, now let's finish up the side pieces. Place your cursor in the top right of the text box, hit return, and select a side piece. Size it, select it, go back to the paragraph, and adjust the line spacing to zero. Space over till you get to the right side of the text box and add a left piece. Now that we have the section built out, I'm going to take a little shortcut by selecting this entire line with my cursor, copying it, then put my cursor at the end again, hit return and paste. I'm going to keep doing this until I get the length of the frame that I want. Now, sometimes you'll notice these frames don't quite fit proportionally here. You'll notice that it's either too long or too short with these extra pieces. Well, there's a little trick you can use to fix this. To make it shorter in length, you can condense the character spacing. Go to Format, Font, and click on the Advanced tab. Click on Spacing, select Condensed, and adjust the values here, and you'll have to play with it a bit. Okay, now I need to do the same with the bottom row. It's a similar fix if you want to adjust the length of this frame, but instead of adjusting the character spacing, we're going to adjust the line spacing. So I'm going to add in another row and decrease the line spacing to fit the text box. I'm going to highlight this middle section and go to Format, Paragraph, and set the line spacing here at exactly 40 points. Now you'll notice up here that there's a little bit of clipping that's occurring. So what I'm going to do here to fix this is go to Format, Paragraph, and set the spacing before to 12 point. So now that we're done with the frames, we're going to make a new text box for the wording of the invite. I'm going to draw in another text box, size it, align it, and paste in the text. Now what I'm going to do from here is just highlight the different sections and adjust the point size and choose what style I want to use for them. For this first section, I want a little bit of ornamentation. So I'm going to go to Fontbook and look at the ornaments and select this uh, wreath here. Pick the uh, left side and copy and paste that in along with the right side. And then find this little ring icon and copy and paste that in there as well. I think this first part would look good set in Adorn Engraved. And the names here I want to set in Adorn Pomander. Let's make these bigger. I'm also going to change the word and to the Adorn Catchwords version of and from Fontbook. Copy and paste that in here. This section I'm going to put in Adorn Engraved as well since it ties into that first line of text. 
Now there's kind of a break in the tone of the text here and you'll see the next section is the date. So I'm going to put in an ornament that will divide these sections from the adorn ornament set. With the date, I'm going to use Adorn Palminder again, but this time I want to stylize the text a little bit more than I did with the names. Now, this part is always an experiment to see what looks good, but it's fun to have all these choices. Some work better than others, so you just have to kind of play around with it and see what your choices are. Okay, now we're on to the address. I'm going to use Adorn Serif for this. So now I have a little bit of space at the bottom and I want to add in just another interesting visual element here, maybe a banner that says um, reception to follow, same location. Draw a text box over the top of this text and in font book, I'm going to select this element as the left side of the banner, then these pieces for the top and the bottoms of the banners. Now, you don't have to pick matching sides for the banners. Feel free to experiment. They all work together. I'm going to select the middle of the banner and change the top and bottom pieces. So now I need to add my text inside of that banner. So I'm going to draw another text box on top of the banner and type in my text, reception to follow, same location, move it into place, and I'm done. And that's it. I've just designed a wedding invitation using the fonts in the Adorn Palminder Smooth Collection. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this. And if you have any more questions or want to check out any more of my work, go to lauraworthingtontype.com. Thanks!